Welcome to part two, getting to know Linux, Fedora 33. So we're going to go into installing things. Now we do have a software center. Most things can be installed through here, such as Discord. But the only way you're going to get Discord is, and literally I just go and add FlatHub. Now FlatHub is built to make things easier for users. So you're on Fedora, you click that, you grab the repository, you open in software and you hit the install button. Now, I already have mine installed just so I can show you guys what it looks like after. Now, here's the thing. It won't work immediately and it won't auto-refresh the repositories. So what you have to do is you have to search System Monitor. And you have to grab the System Monitor from your other window because it likes going to the one with OBS on it. Go figure. And you've got to right-click and kill the software. Murder it like it's Halloween. And Jason's come back from hell. Sorry about that. Uh, Freddy wanted to get out. My bad. Let's go and install Discord. Everybody uses Discord, and it's easy to do. You just click the install button thanks to FlatHub, and it's done. One, two, three, finish. Installing applications on Linux is not as hard as people think. In fact, most people who think about Linux overthink most things. They try to make it as complex as possible so they look as smart as possible, but they realize, don't realize that they end up scaring most people away. In fact, I actually had to install OBS through FlatHub to get the newest version, which is 26. I like the whole noise suppression thing that they've added that uses AI. Now, say you want another browser. Well, you can grab Google Chrome or Chromium web browser. To get Google Chrome, you have to go up here, software repositories, you're gonna have to enable third-party repositories, and then enable Google Chrome. Boom. Just like that. And click the install button and you should be good to go. So this is proprietary license uh, version 86, which is good because it comes with a whole lot of good stuff. And just enjoy. So you got another browser, you got Discord, but what about things like Spotify? Well, you've added FlatHub, so Spotify is actually pretty easy. And you can actually go and hit the install button if you want. It'll do its preparing. But say you want something else. I don't use Spotify. I actually use Google Desktop Player for my music. YouTube Music has, honestly, the biggest selection of music on the internet currently right now. Most people just overlook and be like, YouTube Music is nothing. You need to realize that YouTube is the biggest hub for music on the planet. It is bigger than Spotify. It is bigger than Apple Music. And it absolutely crushes everything else. And yeah, this is where it pretty much craps its pants. So this is where the internet comes in. Google Desktop Music Player is an open source thing. And wow, they really need to learn how to update crap. And uh, I'm going to continue. Whatever. We're going to download the latest and I'm going to grab Linux. And we're going to grab Fedora 64-bit. So we can open that in the software center and install it. So now I have my streaming music platform, two of them including Spotify and Google Play Desktop Music. We also have Chrome, another web browser. I've showed you everything how to do in the software store. You're going to have most applications, as I said. And for those that you don't, I guess you could also move on to Terminal because I have to show you how to update the operating system. Now, mind you, you could technically go and go to updates, all right? That's the slow way. Believe it or not, it's actually faster to go through Terminal. I know Terminal scares the crap out of most people. You don't have to be afraid, all right? Terminal is as scared as you as you are of it because it's terrified you're going to destroy the entire operating system. I'm joking. You'll do fine. So let's go over the commands real quick. Are you ready? Sudo to give root permission. Then you do DNF, all right? That's what we use to install with. You use install, and then you choose a program. Say we want git or cmake or make. Um, there's a bunch of other ones, but they got really long, complicated, and annoying numbers. And you just enter your password. It will go through the repository selection. And you hit yes to continue. You can't hit enter, or else it will just get all mad and then it will quit, and then you're done. That's it. One, two, three, finish. Well, I showed you how to install applications through the terminal. 
Uh, I show you how to install applications through the software center. And compiling is a whole nother thing. And I'm not sure if you want to get into that or not. You probably will eventually. And I think probably our next step in our next video is going over Steam and how to play Windows games through Proton. Uh, it's not going to be a long video, but it's one that needs to be done anyway. Thank you guys for watching. As always, if you like the video, hit the like button if you learned something new. Don't forget to hit subscribe if you're new here and uh, hit the bell to be notified of other content such as this, Linux videos to come. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, everyone. Be safe.